What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another unboxing showcase review and we did get the new Marvel Legends 2-pack of Franklin Richards and Valeria Richards. I'm very happy to pick this one up. I There was a part of me was like, do I really need it? Yes, no, man. But you know what? It's a Fantastic Four family. I am really dedicated to my Marvel Legends cosmic characters, so I definitely wanted to add more to Fantastic Four. And of course, why not? We got Franklin and Valeria here. So I really, really was really thinking hard. I was like, you know what? I, I do want it. I definitely want it. And thank you to BBTS because they did have it in stock and I was able to order it and it came in within a week. So here we go. Box. Look at the box. We got digital renders of the of the characters. We got some artwork right here, which is actually really nice. Um, and then on the back, we do have uh, what's included, which you could see here. It's, it's not too bad, I would say, because we got multiple hands, of course, and some of these, some of the stuff that you know I think we may have seen before. It's been it's been a while. I got to try and remember. But yeah, there you go. So let's uh, open this up. I did cut the tape here, of course, as always. Um, and you guys will always see what it looks like when I open up a package of any kind because I like to show you guys what actually is inside considering the fact, you know, you never know how these things are laid out with this windowless packaging. So why is this so much thicker for me to get out? There we go. There we go. So, so there's always different marvel legends is always different when they do this cardboard stuff it's so weird so open the flap there we go it's like a little bit extra i guess some more support i guess you could say for that one so let's unbox this properly so you could see what's going on actually let me before i even do that so we got accessories accessories and of course we have our figures can already tell we got Valeria here we got Franklin oh there's there's some more right there all right is that it that's it all right let's unpackage this properly so we can get a better look all right guys there you have it we got everything out of the box uh there's quite a bit of accessories I was actually surprised to see because you know looking at it from the box it's a little crazy to see this here and there because but you know what it's just because it looks like it had one but there's more on the other side yeah you know i'm just saying um so let's see let's take a look at what we got because it is wild here so we will basically just start off with accessories first and then we'll move on to you know sculpt and articulation all right starting off with accessories we have franklin here with a pair of gripping hands and he also comes with a pair of fists and Valeria here has these like C cup hands. So it's quite the change. I don't know what they would be used for. Uh, I mean, there are the type of gripping hands, but you know, she's got these, these support hands. And she also has a pair of fists. And surprisingly, she has a pair of trigger hands. Uh, you can also call them gripping hands as well. But, uh, because of the trigger i mean i there's no weapons here but uh she could utilize them for something else one of the accessories is this tablet which we've seen before i believe the aim scientist supreme had this same exact tablet but you can use the trigger figure finger hands to hold it like this or i'm assuming you can try to hold it with one hand and kind of use the one finger as something to press onto it so that's an option so each of the hands can actually hold the uh the flasks here so that's not too bad they are a little bit loose so you got to kind of position them in there but she can hold these and with franklin's gripping hands they can hold the flasks as well so not too bad as, as long as they can hold it i'm i'm happy and with the flasks, we have these two effects that you can actually put on the top. So that's the one type of effect that you can add onto them. And we do have more effects that you can add to them as well with these like uh, 
smoke type effects, which is actually pretty cool to add on these. And then the last accessory, or maybe a character, because this is Turg, who is, which is a, a Moloid, I believe. Um, this is another character. Uh, we've seen this uh, before, I believe, with the uh, the Disney Plus um, Ant Man head. I think I'm pretty sure uh, it looks the same. I'll have to go get it to see if it's the same exact type. But yeah, you can put that on there, and it comes with a stand that you can insert right here. And now you have you have them right there. You can just put them right there on the shelf, just like that. So there you have Turg. All right, so let's take a look at Paint and Sculpt because very simple i mean we got like the fantastic four uniform right here uh but we have the f for franklin going on but it is practically black plastic and there's some blue plastic as well but there's some paint blue paint over the black plastic so at least it's done well i don't really see any areas where it's it over it's like over painted over sprayed so to speak uh, but there is some weird things to it because let me kind of when I say weird, it's just some things that just caught my eye. First of all, head sculpt looks great. They did a great job. This um, digital photo tech type of thing for the for these characters, these combo characters, very well done. It's very nice. We got the hair basically sculpted very nicely. It looks really good, and of course the paint. The paint on the lips actually is nice. It's subtle, so it's not too bad. Eyebrows and eyes nicely applied. So they, they did a good job with that. Um, this body, I this is like the kid Spider-Man body or the, like the newer one uh, because we have pinless everywhere. So that's pretty good. And it, it's got great articulation for this body. So... The, here's the things that I that was really pointed out to me. Um, first of all, you know, this is Franklin. I don't know if he's this muscular, but I know we're reusing a body here. Um, but the seam lines, there's like, for example, right here, you could see that even the hinge, the elbow, you could see where it's been cut off. You could see that right there. Uh, it's just weird. Uh, it's not really like make or break the figure for me, but I'm just saying you can see it. Like you could see this seam line right here in the thigh that goes all the way down. It's, it's I don't know, it's just weird to me, I, I guess, for what it is. I mean, everything's fine. It's still just, it's like, a, it's all black anyway. I'm just saying, it's just stuff that pointed out, even here, like you could see the seam line. It's like, it's not done all the way through. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. That's just my little thing here and there. So there you have that. That's everything for paint and sculpt in regards to Franklin. And of course, Valeria. Same idea. Everything is in black. Blue paint on the forearms, all around the neck. We got the belt area here. And then, of course, it's like a blue plastic because they have separate leg parts right there for for that articulation. So everything's the same. She has the same thing where I could see the seam lines very well. It's so weird. It's so weird to see all that stuff. But highlight, of course, big highlight, face sculpt. Face sculpt is amazing. It looks really good. Very nicely sculpted. It's got some shades of paint too in the yellow. Uh, the only problem is right here. Do You see that? That's not good. Maybe I could like try to pull it out a little bit, but it's that doesn't. I mean, this side's fine, but unfortunately, this side is not. So it's unfortunate because it's the head sculpt. That's the problem. But the face, the face looks great. They did a great job with this. I like that a lot. I don't know if you could see it because you could see the tones in the hair. That looks really good. The V in the veil area, that looks good. There's really no paint splotches anywhere. So still very nice using the smaller body. This reminds me of the Jubilee body, but I think 
I think the uh, torso might be newer. All right, and we're gonna go over articulation here, but I wanted to let you know, I actually did somewhat fix this just a little bit. You can see I pulled it out just enough that it just sticks out just enough. And then when I did, it reduced the amount of the hole that's there because of, you know, the length of it. So I'm fine. No, I'm okay. Uh, it's much better that I was able to pull that out. So first of all, head sculpt, I mean head sculpt, um, articulation, turn left and right. She's got short hair, so it helps out a lot more. She can look up. Um, the hair can get in the way, but you can easily maneuver it and look how high she can look up. So that's really nice because it's on a disc hinge right there, looking down all the way. Um, shoulders, yep, we can get the shoulders all the way up there because of the type of female um, female arms that she has. So she has no upper bicep swivel. Um, and she's got the single jointed elbows, which does go past 90 degrees, which is fine. Uh, it's just, I, I, I wish we had the double jointed for this smaller body, would have been nice. The diaphragm joint is, is, you know what? It's better than Jubilee's, I'll tell you that, because the one I have for Jubilee barely has anything, which is why I think this is a, a different torso. This torso is, I think, newer. Um, but she can go back only that far, and she can go forward just a little bit. So there you go, that's, that's really for this body. That's all you're going to get out of it. Um, the hips, definitely much better. She can go and move that much higher, I guess, with the upper thigh cut and then the, the double jointed knees, which is pinned, of course. These are more of the gummier ones, so you got to be careful with that, which sucks. Once again, I wish it was the newer, newer legs. Um, but I know this is the smaller body, so we have to understand that one, of course. Reuse, unfortunately, reuse for this one. And we have an upper, th uh, upper thigh. We have a boot cut swivel or a calf swivel. And then, of course, the feet can go all the way forward, all the way back. And we got the, we got the uh, pivot that we got going on there. So there's your articulation for Valeria, which is pretty similar to most to all Marvel Legends technically for in regards to female bodies. Um, but then when it comes to Franklin, wow. Because this is a Spider-Man body. Uh, which Spider-Man? I I can't remember. Maybe the, the newer one that came in the five pack from Amazon, from the Amazon exclusive. I did not get that one, but I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not too sure. So correct me if I'm wrong, but we can turn the head left and right of course we can look all the way back because it is a disc hinge and we can go forward that far uh we do have butterfly joints which is very nice to see um does it have the range a little bit it does have a good amount of range but it's nice that we have that range that we can work with we have the upper bicep um swivel and look at that once i turned it there's that hole there's the hole for the wings um we have the pinless double jointed elbows right there. Uh, we have a diaphragm, which is isn't too bad. It's it can go back pretty nicely without moving the ab crunch, um, but forward not so much. Doesn't go forward that much, but we got the ab crunch, so we can go forward that far, and we can go back that far. Uh, legs can go out a little bit forward that's very nice um upper thigh cut the double jointed knees that are pinless which is very nice to see that they're pinless is this frozen a bit because look at me i'm trying to there you go got it loose but there is your double jointed uh knees we have the calf swivel and of course feet wow we got the range going on and of course the pivot as well so we we have we know what this body is it's just uh i guess because of the size for franklin or at least what they were trying to do they use this body which i'm fine with i like this body it's not too bad the feet are you know they're they, they look a little big but you know what it's okay i'm all right with it it's with these i guess with this buck 
for both of them. They will definitely work for it. So it was a good attempt and I, I still like it. I still am happy with these characters. All right, and to quickly measure them out, we have Valeria at the five and a half inch, and we do have Franklin right at the six inch, maybe just a little bit above the six inch mark. So there you have the height on those, and then we will get into uh, some comparisons because there is uh, there's some some similarities to what you can see here i mean here we do have the amazing fantasy spider-man and you can see that's practically the same size as franklin right there uh you know what let me just maneuver her out of the way so we can see yeah you can see that i mean there's some very uh, similar body uh for franklin right there but it's so weird. It's like Franklin's just slightly taller. Um, and even with using Miles, the Gamerverse Miles, that's almost a similar body, but it, it's, it's, uh, no, it's completely different. Let me, I'll, I'll correct myself. That's completely different. Throwing in a new female body, we have Silk here. Um, and Silk is pretty much like at the six inch mark as well. So she's just as tall as Franklin. And there's Valeria shorter, which is good to see that, you know, Valeria is definitely shorter. And of course, we got Vulcan here just so we could see because Vulcan is one of the more newer bodies for Marvel Legends. And I expect that to be just slightly taller, which it is. So that's good to see. Now, I grabbed the thing here. I, I'm going to grab the Fantastic Four theme. So I grabbed the thing. You can see how they scale with the thing which is actually really nice um i i'm gonna really like having these two on the shelf so there's the thing let's get the other family members in here and here's johnny johnny is is slightly tall is, he's uh, he is slightly taller than franklin so that's good you know what there's a part it's like i wish franklin was definitely just slightly smaller so that way we could see, you know, because they're, they're the kids, you know what I mean? So that's that's my whole thing. I think Franklin should have been a little bit smaller. All right. And now we have Mr. Fantastic as well as Sue Storm, Invisible Woman. So good to see that they are definitely taller, but it's it's crazy, right? Because these are older. These are much older figures. So unfortunately, I can pretty much determined with the older figures they were a little bit smaller in scale because the way marvel legends is moving it seems like they they've just slightly gotten a little bit bigger so that's probably why i, I and this is why I, I wanted to have this family out because these this these characters are out on my shelf which is why i grabbed them right away um the other fantastic fours that i have they're they're still in the box the retro carter ones are still in the box i wonder if they are slightly bigger um they could be but for this because i wanted you know somewhat to match i which i do like it i love how these match um i just know that if, with franklin just being just that slightly taller um it's it's a little bit weird but i think we can make it work And just as a one-off, yeah, it's it's the same exact thing. It's the exact same thing. So they're all, you'll see all the same sculpts within this. So yeah, there you go. Look, it's been a while since I could do this. <laughs> I could do this with her hands. I forgot about it. I think Gwenpool might've had these hands, if I remember correctly. All right, guys, there you have it. We have the new Marvel Legends, Franklin Richards and Valeria Richards two pack. Very, very happy to still have these two characters on my shelf because they will, you know, extend the family out for the Fantastic Four as well as my cosmic uh, characters on my shelf. So I'm still happy to have these characters. They did a great job on the head sculpts. They did such a great job on them. Um, in regards to body sizes, I mean, I think Valeria's pretty good valeria is good even though i know it's an older body uh you gotta work with what they give you um but with franklin as much as i do like the body and it's pinless as well so it looks it's still a good buck uh maybe it's just just too tall that just might be the reason i it, 
I gotta I gotta reread that run again and see some of the images from the comics. It's 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 bothering me. But yes, still for Marvel Legends to create these characters, I'm all for it. These were great. I'm glad to have them in the collection. But let me know what you guys think. I would greatly appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe. As always, we're trying to reach that new goal of the 4,500 subscribers. So if you can help me get there, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Hope to see you soon, and I hope to see you on the next hunt.